Hey guys, what is going on? There's a new season in Battlefield 2042 together with a new map, new guns, new gadgets, but also some cool new player cards. And apparently these are super easy to unlock. So today I wanted to make a quick video about how you can do this in only a couple of minutes. But before we begin, I just wanted to say thank you guys for your support, your constructive feedback and the many many video ideas you guys brought to me so far. Keep it up and I will do my best to do the same. With this said, let us begin. To unlock the first player card, you have to find of spawn beacon hidden on the new map reclaimed. This one has been found super early by the Battlefield Easter Egg community, so all credits go to them. And in case you want to join the discussion, or if you want to help to find Easter eggs yourself, I will put some links into the video description down below so you can check it out later. But now, back to the hidden beacon. You can find this one close to objective A1, and you can see the location here on the map. It's hidden inside an overturned wagon, and when you get closer, you will hear something like a Morse code and radio scatter. You can find the beacon on the other end and now you just have to activate it by pressing interact. However, when I tried it out, it only unlocked after I also unlocked the other player card. That's probably just a bug, but just to be safe, you should unlock the other one as well. So now, let's go over to the second one. If you've already played one or two rounds on the new map reclaimed, you might have noticed some graffiti all over the map. And that's definitely what you should keep an eye open for. Not only because it looks pretty awesome, but also because you will be rewarded with the player card if you do this. Or to be more more specific, there are two graffiti paintings you have to visit to earn this player card. And you can reach both locations easily from the first one I already showed you. The first location is close to objective C1. Here you can find a large painting of a horse and the location you can see here on the map. Try to stay close in front of the painting and it should work for you. So far so good. Now let's go over to the second location. This one is only a few meters away from the location of the first painting and it's close to objective C2. You can find it inside the warehouse without a roof. And once you're there, you will definitely notice it because it's a huge painting of a monster. The exact location you can see here on the map. Again, try to position yourself close to the painting and it should work. Afterwards, you will be rewarded with the second player card or maybe even with both in case it didn't work at the beginning. And after the round, you can equip them if you like them. But this is up to you. And that's about it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Or if you would like me to make a video about a certain topic, let me know in the comments down below. I am Darwin, you're the best and I will see you on the battlefield.